necessarily the opinions of Walnut Media USA, management, station manager Janelle Reeves, any particular denomination or religion, the mailman, the church lady, or anyone else of sound mind and body. Now, here's the talk of the heartland with Mac McCoy on KCRO, the heartland's Christian voice. Good afternoon. It is the 21st day of September in the Lord's year 2022. I'm Mac McCoy, and this is the Wednesday edition of Talk of the Heartland, the Christian voice of the Heartland. AM 660, FM 106.7 in Lincoln, and all around the world at KCRO.com. All right, my guest today is a, a, a wonderful team of people, one that refuses to talk on the radio, so well, I guess he's <laughs> not going to be on today, but hopefully maybe he'll step up and, and say something. Um, he's actually uh, Brad's son, and he just came along for moral support for Brad, and apparently you haven't seen your father on radio because he don't need no moral support. <laughs> you got that? Yeah. yeah. All right, so Sandy Patty... Yes, that's Sandy Patty, is coming to our town tomorrow. She will be at the Relevant Center in Elkhorn. Show starts at 7 p.m. Tickets are only $35, and there will be a whole mess of food trucks there, so you can order whatever you'd like to uh, order for dinner. She is here on behalf of a uh, 501c3 at a great ministry. Gosh, I've watched this grow for 20 years, haven't I? Well, more like 15. Okay, well, I'm trying to think when... Oh, yeah, no, you're right. It was after... Yeah, okay. He's right. He... Well, he... of course he's right. It's his company. <laughs> uh, and Brad Hafs... Hey, Hafs is here, and uh, he is the founder and president. Also, Samantha, who is the director of ministry operations, is here. And today we're going to play a little Sandy Patty from now and then. And we're also going to learn about Fresh Hope because, uh, and I have a lot of 501c3s on this radio show, and I'm very blessed to have them on. Uh, knowing Brad as long as I have, uh, not staying in touch very well, I'm sorry about that, but when I, the, the moment I knew God was bringing me to Omaha, I called you because I remember I was mm-hmm. on the road. Yep. And Fresh Hope is a, a wonderful ministry. Tell people what Fresh Hope is there to do and how they help people. Fresh Hope started as um, a Christian mental health support group for people with uh, mental health issues and people who love them. And it's run from a people pure perspective. People who love mental health? Well, people who love people who have with a diagnosis. Yeah. Oh, I resemble that. Yeah. <laughs> and um, that's how we started. And that's still the mainstay of how many groups or most of our groups. Uh, but we started here in Elkhorn uh, about 15, 16 years ago, and then it grew. And now we have people from 19 different countries that attend our groups in about 14 different countries yes. where they're hosted. Correct. Yeah. Okay, Samantha, name every one of them. I'm counting. <laughs> okay, I'll start. You probably could, couldn't you? I probably could. Yeah, all right. Um, and and how do you communicate with these? Is Has Zoom been a big plus for you? Yes. Definitely so, yeah. Yeah. How did COVID impact you? Well, you know, we used Zoom for online meetings prior to the pandemic. Okay. We, our people were used to Zoom. That was the way we had uh, the opportunity for people who didn't have a local group to attend a group. Okay. And so uh, when the pandemic hit, then all of our groups went online. And um, really, it, it just helped us grow Um, the pandemic has really the consequences of the pandemic has been more of a stretch for us because we get a lot of calls we have a lot of churches wanting to do things and start groups as well as a lot of calls about teens and teen suicides have gone up attempts on the girls part on teen girls and um, then we've we've since created um, what's called hope coaching. Sam could tell you more about that, and um, a thing called healing the heart wounds of ministry for people who are um, leaders in their church. 
And we now have a, a new group started this last week, um, Refocusing Widows, where we actually help. So we've become really specialist in how to have peer-to-peer, meaning people with lived experience in anything, helping other people. It's just, it's a thing AA has known for years, you know, that if, if I want to catch recovery, I, I can catch it from somebody who's in recovery. Yeah. And uh, so that's, you know, uh, the kind of groups that we have. And uh, yeah. it, it, we just continue to grow. Sometimes we're a little shocked at where all the contacts come from. Exactly. We keep getting surprised by all these people reaching out, but the need is great all over the world. And so we're really glad to be able to uh, share hope all over the world. Yeah. And as a widow myself, I, man, that that's powerful. There mm-hmm. aren't a lot of faith-based widowed groups. There are some small groups inside of churches with four or five, six women. I don't know if I've ever heard of a man's, though. I know we didn't have it at our church. Well, yes, and the, those have not started yet. Okay. The, the women's groups for the widows have, but we will have them for widowers also. They will, mm-hmm. If I can ever yep. do anything for you on that, let yeah, me know. Yeah, you bet. And, uh, all, you know, Samantha's from El Salvador. I don't know if we said that, but so English is her second language, but we have staff in El Salvador and in Georgia and a number of other states, but um, so she's having to think um, doubly hard yeah. during the interview. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're doing great. You take your time, all right? Thanks. So uh, one of the things we'd like to do, of course, we're going to help you understand about Fresh Hope. I, I think you probably already realize how important it is to those people that need it. Um, and uh, we're also going to talk a little bit about San, uh, Sandy Patty, but I'd like to play... Uh, a couple of songs uh, for you of her. And you said love in any language? Yes. Okay. So we're going to play a little bit of that one first. And uh, then we'll take a break for about two minutes. And when we come back, we'll find out about, and you brought it up already, but I want to talk about some of the details, uh, the mental health issues that are impacting the millennials. Millennials. <laughs> the millennials millennials yeah okay and the x generation yeah people well mm-hmm. all of us but it's not yeah. going away unfortunately no. all right well that's just the devil you know doing his work so we'll talk about that and enjoy a little sandy patty today here is her song not going to play the whole thing but we're going to uh, play a little of it sandy patty love in any language here on am 660 and fm 106.7 and all around the world at kcro.com.
the wear and tear of everyday life can take a significant toll on your marriage. On the next Focus on the Family, Dr. Randy Schrader offers practical tips for a marriage tune-up that will help you strengthen your relationship with your spouse. That's next time on Focus on the Family with Jim Dick. Focus on the Family, weekdays at 7.30 a.m. and 12.30 p.m. on KCRO, 6.60 a.m. in Omaha and 106.7 FM in Lincoln. We all know prices are skyrocketing on everything these days, right? So it may be a great idea to get a checkup at Vandiverse Insurance. Give Greg and Cheryl a call at 402-330-7979. You've heard it before, 330-7979. Things change every year. And I'm so glad Vandiverse Insurance is watching out for my family's house, cars, and my other stuff that we seem to think we need. 330-7979. Tell them Boomer Jack is Don't risk losing your photo. And Hi, this is Mac from Talk This of innovative Heartland, stick makes it know, easy to back up no your smartphone. It's no you're listening it's com- to us today. Celebrate the king. We've been praying for you. We know that there's something stirring inside of you that you wish God would answer in a prayer. Well, we're praying for you too. And maybe, just maybe, God will slip that answer to your prayers into the show with one of the guests or the pastors or who knows, maybe even me. We want to hear them at 1-402-819-2666. It's Mac at kcro.com. And no matter where you are when you're listening, at home, at work, or in the car, remember to write it down. We are AM 660 and 106.7 KCRO. Sundays at 5 p.m. on KCRO. Tune in to Breaking Bread with Cheryl Fisher of J.C. Overcomers Ministries. We go to the grocery store and we buy regular bread. And so he shows this picture within the scriptures about how he compares his spiritual food to our physical food. Breaking Bread with Cheryl Fisher. Sundays at 5 p.m. on KCRO. 660 AM in Omaha and 1067 FM in Lincoln and online at kcro.com. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide or experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, call 988 for free, confidential, and compassionate support. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline has a new number, 988. There is hope for 24-7 support Just call, text, or chat 988. Sponsored by Nebraska DHHS, aired with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. 100 years, KCRO. Good afternoon. It's the 21st day of September in the Lord's year 2022. I'm Mac McCoy, and this is the Talk of the Heartland. AM 660 and FM 106.7, we are the Heartland's Christian voice, and we are the only local voice of Christian talk in our entire community and we're just blessed to be able to minister you and introduce you to great people like uh, brad helfs no haves i'm just gonna call you brad bob that'd be <laughs> just bob just call me brad yeah anyway and uh, we're talking about a very important subject and uh, a lot of a lot of time i can remember back when i was in radio not christian radio but regular radio even on talking uh points we didn't talk about mental health. Uh, Very difficult to get a mental health specialist on the radio because we just watched people push their buttons. They didn't want to hear about mm. it. But things are changing. And uh, Samantha, who is the director of ministry operations for uh, Brad's ministry, which is called Fresh Hope, you've got some very interesting statistics about how mental health is impacting the youth of today. Yes. In fact, according to psychology professor John Twench, this new generation is on the verge of the greatest mental health crisis in decades. Mm. Uh, She noticed that there's a significant increase in depression and loneliness. And um, uh, this year, even uh, the the term iGen is used to describe this generation because they're so technological and social media has shaped 
the way they interact, the way they do so many things. But it's they're set to be the loneliest generation ever. Okay, so let me ask you a question, and if this is above your pay grade, you don't have to answer it yeah, or agree. But I would tell you that I think it's because of technology exactly. and social media, kids can go hide, still believe they've got people around them, but their communication skills are two letters at a time. Exactly. There's uh, There are studies that prove that re that relation you know that the more technology and the, this generation was born with internet yeah so they don't recall a time where they didn't have phones or didn't have that kind of connectivity but at the same time uh, it gives them fear of missing out it gives them uh, the comparison trap and they they fall into all of these things where they end up feeling lonelier and yeah like they don't fit in more than you know they sh they Sure. Well, I heard a, or didn't hear, watched a report on TV not too long ago, and they were interviewing a couple of young ladies who went through, young ladies meaning maybe 15, 16, and they had gone through COVID, obviously, and the answer to the question, or the question was probably something like, so how did it impact you the most, or something good came out of it, or whatever, and one of the girls said, I was so depressed, mm -hmm. I was so lonely. Even my parents would come home after work and they couldn't even pull me out of that because I was addicted to the phone. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now, Brad, you also, uh, why do you think this generation is the, um, what did you call it, the largest user of mental health uh, help? No, that's not. Yeah, what... yeah, yeah. It's like the loneliest generation, and it's, um, what did I call it? John Twench, right? Yeah. Yeah, he was a psychological uh, yes. professor. Yes, a psychological professor. And you made the comment that suicides. Oh, suicide rates have increased significantly, uh, specifically attempts for suicide as well as the rates uh, with teenage girls. And, you know, the thing is, is that high tech does not bring high touch. And Ooh, did you write that? No, I heard it many years ago. Oh, that's I, pretty good. I heard that we were on the verge of this probably 20 years ago, that oh, the higher my. tech we became, the lower the touch rates would be. And um, even churches have now been bombarded with, you know, they, they're doing – worship services online and people aren't coming back like they thought they would come yep, back. Yep. And the church is even losing its personal touch with people. They don't know where the people are. Are they, are, are they attending? Do they belong? You know, mm -hmm. and so the more I connect with my machine, my phone or my computer, the less likely I'm going to have personal touches with people. And um, it becomes very problematic. And it does bring uh, loneliness. Isolation is one of the key factors why people, especially who might be prone to have mental health issues, yeah. if people isolate, they lose their neuroplasticity in relationships. It's a big word for you, Brad. Well, I know. Yeah. Every now and then I can get it you out. You did really good on it. <laughs> <laughs> but they can't. They they don't they lose their flexibility of their brain and they begin to become more and more rigid, and that's just a breeding ground for um, depression and anxiety. And we know that anxiety and depression are off the charts right now, uh, worldwide. It's it's this is a bigger pandemic now yes. than the pandemic we think we went through. Uh, you're listening to Brad Hapes. And uh, Samantha, and Samantha is the director of ministry operations. Brad is the founder and president of a ministry called Fresh Hope, who serves the mental health community in many ways um, and allows those folks, and I'm one of those, so I'm not talking about somebody else, uh, gives us an opportunity to, to be with other people that suffer from the same yes. things that we do and uh, get some help. It's a support group. And Samantha, what did you say? How many countries are you guys in now? Well, we have people <clears throat> attending our groups from 19 different countries. Oh, my. 
And it's grown where it's happening in different languages. Uh, our main book, uh, which is Pastor Brad's book, Fresh Hope, um, uh, you know, living well in spite of a mental health diagnosis. It's yeah. now tra it's now in Spanish and English, but it's also have been it has been translated to French, and it's almost done in Japanese and Chinese. Oh wow! Yeah, it's 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 beautiful to see this happening. And we also want to translate it to three languages in India. Uh, it's really needed. It's, I love the seven principles of recovery. And uh, that's one of the things that I think the world really needs. And we were telling you before uh, the, the, this program uh, off, you know, started. Off mic, yeah, yeah. that uh, I, I came, I'm, I live in El Salvador, uh, but Fresh Hope had groups online even before the pandemic. And so I have my own mental health uh, diagnosis, and I was looking for help, and I was able to connect to Fresh Hope and Pastor Brad and the team because they had this group online uh, before the pandemic. Because otherwise, you know, me living in El Salvador, how else would I have gotten in touch with them? Yeah. Um, now, do you still live in El Salvador? Yes, sir. So I, you work remotely? Yeah, yeah. I work remotely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let me tell you who these folks are. Samantha, that was the young lady talking, one of my favorite names. She is the director <laughs> of ministry operations and lives in El Salvador. And Brad Hapes is the founder and president of Fresh Hope, which you tell me, how old is that now? 15 or 16 years 15 old. 15 or 16 mm -hmm. years. I used to have a uh, nationally syndicated show that was on Sirius, I think. Yep, yep. Uh, 12 noon every Sunday. And uh, you, I was in Des Moines at the time. You were over here, and you brought your team over. And right. We came twice. My wife and I shared my entire that's story. Right. Yep. And then uh, sometime later, we brought a team of like seven or eight people. We have that video on our YouTube channel. But they told what was happening for them in Fresh Hope. And there were some powerful stories that day. I'll never forget. Yeah. And, and it's interesting because the show that I had was called Restoring Hope. Yeah. So hope is just this key word inside yes. of mental health. Well, and here's an interesting thing. I don't know that you and I have ever talked about this, but all the work that we do now is focused and based upon 25 years of clinical research on how hope works. And then when you t and that was secular research, and it, it hope is very practical. It works a certain way, and um, but when you take faith and you infuse it into hope, and now you got sure and certain hope, very different kind of hope. Sure and certain hope. Yep. I like that. Because we know that God takes all things and makes them work out together for your good. Oh, yeah. And the thing is, is that when you're going through pain and the emotional pain of mental health issues or just... The, uh, you know, we do this hope coaching for people that oh, they don't have mental health issues necessarily, but they're feeling hopeless because maybe their family imploded, maybe their job went goodbye. Oh, yeah. And um, the thing is, is that I think hope works like faith and love do. And that's why at the end of 1 Corinthians 13, Paul says, and these three remain. And it, that sure and certain hope is that what you're going through, you'll be able to get through it if you know it's going to pass and that it will matter. That the pain, that, that God never wastes our pain. He always, it, our pain can become liquid gold for the kingdom of God. And um, the worst spot of my life that I share with somebody else becomes their survival guide for what they're going through right now. And that really is, the church has failed in this in many respects. Oh, yeah. Uh, because what we do in our culture, at least, and I suspect they do it in El Salvador and most cultures, when you go to church, you get dressed up and you act like everything's fine. Exactly. Yep. And uh, there's that Christian song out there that everything's not okay. Yeah. And, um, you know, the reality is that if churches don't get real and start addressing the brokenness, sin is an issue, yes, 
But at the core of uh, the sinful condition of mankind is the fact that our brains are broken. Yeah. Exactly. Our whole way of thinking is, it stinks. Yep. And the, the battle is in the mind to begin with. And um, so you can't, you can't, uh, and people think the mind is what the brain is, and that's not what, no. the, the brain is the organ, yeah. and the mind is what the brain does. And if your brain isn't functioning properly with the right chemical balances and electrical currents and all of that kind of stuff, you will not be in your right mind. Exactly. And, and that's brokenness. That's sinfulness, you know. Brad Hafes is my guest. He is the founder and president of Fresh Hope, a ministry that is worldwide that helps people with mental illness. It is a Christian-based uh, ministry. And the other voice you hear is Samantha. She lives in El Salvador, but she is here for a special event this weekend. She's the director of ministry operations. Um, you know somebody with mental health issues. I don't know if you've admitted it to yourself, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know if you've, or if the person with the mental health has recognized it, or maybe like me, it's me. Well, here's a way you could help Fresh Hope do the work that they do. There is a Christian artist by the name of Sandy Patty. Most of us know who she is. She will be here in Elkhorn tomorrow at 7 p.m. Uh, it's $35 a ticket to hear her concert, and uh, they'll have food trucks there so you can purchase food if you want. But all of that money goes to help people like me, maybe like you. You don't have to raise your hand. It's okay, who have mental health issues. Now, uh, I want to play a little bit of a Sandy Patty uh, song. And, and then when I come back, you brought up one of my favorite subjects, sin. And I want to talk about the, com the, the, the connection between sin and mental health. We've never talked about this. So I'm curious to see if we're on the same page on that. I know you're going to be more right than I am. But I have, of a, course. <laughs> I have a philosophy on that. All right, we're coming back. Again, that Sandy Patty in concert tomorrow. You can meet her. It's at the Relevant Center in Elkhorn, 7 p.m. And this is one of that young lady's wonderful song. And this is called Upon This Rock. And you heard it here on AM 660 and FM 106.7 and all around the world at kcro.com. And we're here to celebrate the kingdom. It's not just a kingdom that's way out there somewhere. Jesus says the kingdom of God is within you. When others see with earthly eyes just what they want to see you will see the things that never die. You will know and recognize by simple childlike faith the priceless truth that others will deny. And Jesus says this to us. When others say I'm just a man Who like to dream his dreams And when others call a miracle A myth You listen for eternity In moments as they pass and you see with spirit eyes what others miss upon this road.
Search the scriptures right here on KCRO. We want to get into God's word in an in-depth fashion. Dig beneath the surface. See what it really says. You ready for Monday through Friday on Alexis, Search the Scriptures. Alexis, Weekdays at 2.30 a.m., 5 a.m., 10 a.m., 6.30 p.m., and 10.30 p.m. On KCRO, the Heartland's Christian Voice. A smoke-free environment is the only way to fully protect from the dangers of secondhand smoke. That's why smoke-free policies are so important to me, whether it's in my car, apartment building, or when I'm dining outdoors. There's no place for secondhand smoke or e-cigarette aerosol. Breathe easier knowing the facts. Visit smokefree.ne.gov. Paid for by Tobacco-Free Nebraska. Still make you crazy. Hello, this is Alan. This is James. This is David. And this is Walter. AJDW Conversation. You can listen to AJDW Conversation every Sunday from 1 to 2 p.m. right here on AM 660 KCRO. Now your forecast for KCRO for Omaha, Council Bluffs, and Lincoln. Overcast tonight with a slight chance for scattered showers. Lows around 51. Northerly winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Cloudy again tomorrow. High temperatures reach up to 65. Cloudy tomorrow night. Scattered rain showers likely. Lows around 51. Mid-60s, Friday, with a chance for scattered thunderstorms. Upper 70s, Saturday. I'm weatherology meteorologist Paul Trombley on KCRO. Right now, 66. The Heartlands Christian Voice, KCRO. It's the 21st of September in the Lord's year 2022. Now, you may be listening to this, and you'll look at your calendar, and you'll say, no, Mac, you goofy guy, it's November, or it's 2024. Well, this program will be put in our best of shows, and when I'm gone, we always play best of shows. So uh, don't get confused if you just heard the date and you think I'm whacking out. (laughs) My special guest today is Pastor Brad Hapes. He is the founder and president of a ministry called Fresh Hope, which helps people with mental illness. And they're all around the world now. And what did you say, 16 different countries? 19. Oh, 19, sorry. Yes. <laughs> and that voice you hear is Samantha. Uh, she's the director of ministry operations, and she works remote from El Salvador. And so it's a pleasure to, to have you here. Thank you. We're talking about mental illness because uh, tomorrow night in Elkhorn, they have a fundraiser for Fresh Hope, and they're bringing in none other than uh, Sandy Patty, a great artist. In fact, the last thing you're going to hear on this program today is when she was given an award by the the Dub Academy, the Dub Awards. So we've got that on tape for you to play, or digital. Uh, But anyway, Sandy Patty will be live, and you can see her and hear her and maybe meet her, uh, at the Relevant Center in Elkhorn, Starts at 7 p.m., doors open at? Uh, 6.30. 6.30. And there's food trucks there at 5 if people want okay. to eat before. And tickets are only $35, and you're helping yourself or maybe your grandchild or someone that you recognize has mental health issues and they need help. And, Samantha, you were saying earlier that the uh, uh, 
millennium millennials are the highest percentage of our population right now yeah. that seek out help for mental health. Yeah, they're heading uh, for the greatest mental health crisis ever uh, this generation. So we really need to be ready. Now, you and I were talking, Brad, earlier about sinfulness and how that plays into mental illness. Um, and I would also like to add, well, I want to hear you first. Sure. So talk about that for a minute. Well, from my perspective, um, there are times where what we don't understand is if your brain doesn't work properly, you can't be in your right mind. And when you're not in your right mind, you are not going to have the best behavior. And there are times where you may do things or say things or think things that you would never, ever think or say or do in your right mind. Now, what I want you to follow with me on this. Your right mind. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> well, <laughs> My mind's never right. <laughs> um, the, the issue is that uh, we have to understand original sin broke our bodies. Yeah. And that's why we get cancer. That's why we die. That's why we age. That's why we have all of these problems. And so it is with mental illness. There are those who want to turn mental illness into a demonic issue. Well... Yes, I believe that there are de demons, and I believe there's demonic issues, but not always just because somebody has depression or they have bipolar or they hear voices. Sometimes, the majority of the time, it is purely mental illness. Broken. Now, yeah. we're broken. Our bodies are broken. The brain isn't working right. Have you ever had a time where you said to the person you're with, maybe your spouse, and you say, honey, do you smell that fire? And your your wife looks at you and says, what fire? I don't mm -hmm. smell anything. And you smell it, right? It Those are the kinds of glitches that a psychotic brain or psychosis is because they hear a voice and their brain gets stuck in that. And um, now... Uh, People that want to say, well, it's demonic. No, um, my medical, my doctor would tell you all disease and all brokenness is demonic. That's good. And that's Very where good. Satan walks in. Yep. Yes, he walks in on this, but he walks in on adultery. He walks in on, I mean, yeah. not he doesn't walk in on adultery. No, but, but you're you know right. what I'm saying. Yeah. It, it, and so we've got to get over this. When the queen died... Her brain went with her. The brain is in that casket. Her brain is in the grave. It didn't go to heaven. The mind is what is no longer there. The spirit, the, the soul. The spirit and all of those things. And so now let's just imagine that um, I came in at nighttime and I injected you with a methamphetamine drug. Oh. And you didn't know I was doing it. And you woke up. Now your behavior is going to be pretty strange, right? Yeah. Or stranger in your case. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Touché. And, and, and so what happens is um, you're going to act differently. You're going to think differently. You're yeah. going to do things you would never have done otherwise. And that's what happens to those of us. For instance, I have bipolar disorder. If I don't have medicine, if I don't have treatment, that's what happens. Yep. I'm not in my right mind. And we Christians have got to understand that. Science proves this. Yeah. I mean, it's... Well, and I, uh, Go ahead, finish your statement. I'm sorry. No, it's... I just say it's frustrating because we attempt to make every behavior into a chosen sinful behavior. There are behaviors that are sinful that we didn't choose. For instance, if somebody with, uh, let's say, uh, they have a brain tumor, and in worship they shout out some... Yep profane word or yep. they have Tourette's syndrome yep. or they or they are mentally handicapped those that we understand but when we can't say well there's a tumor or there's this and there's this abstract thing it's the same thing our uh, guests today have been Brad Hafes founder and president of Fresh Hope a ministry that is worldwide uh, based here in Omaha started 16 15 16 years ago but it's now worldwide. And I think you said the most important thing anybody could say today, and that was that we are broken. 
We are born with sinful nature. And most of uh, our mental illnesses, tell me if I'm wrong on this, somehow can be traced to we're broken. Yeah, just like cancer can be traced to that. Yeah, exactly. we're Your broken. body wasn't meant for that. Yeah. Yep. Well, guys, uh, thanks for coming in today. Uh, uh, when we come back from this break, I'm going to play for you uh, Sandy Patty receiving her Dove Award a few years ago because she's going to be here live tomorrow in Elkhorn at the Relevant Center. Doors open at 630, food trucks there at 5, and at 7 the concert will begin. And tickets can be purchased at the door. Yeah, $35. And let me tell you something. That money goes a long way. It all goes to the ministry to put on the help that people need. When we come back, Sandy Patty uh, receiving her Dove Award. And then coming up here at 5 o'clock, it is David Newsom and Destiny. Only on AM 660, FM 106.7, and all around the world at kcro.com. Hello, my friend. If you enjoy Sandy Patty and her music, you're not going to want to miss this special event. Hi, I'm Brad Hafes with Fresh Hope for Mental Health. I'd like to invite you to join us on Thursday night, September 22nd, to our celebration of hope with Sandy Patty. She'll be here sharing her gift of music. There will be many testimonies of encouragement and hope-filled stories that you'll hear, as well as the work that we're doing around the world with Fresh Hope for Mental Health. Sandy 